Kia ora fam, welcome to this Empire Gaming Review. I am your resident tech and gaming guy Dave, and this week I'm jumping into the PS4 exclusive from the team at Media Molecule with the release of Dreams, which is available right now. Okay, so it's, uh, it's not very often that I am completely lost for words with the game. I am usually impressed, or staggered, overjoyed, exhilarated, enthralled, consumed by, or, or lost in the good ones. There's usually a suitable descriptor that I can pull from my simple but sufficient vocabulary to summarize it. I'm challenged to do so by this game. It simply defies attempts to explain it. Because although it's on a console, and you use a controller when you're playing it, it's not a game. It's far, far more than that. It's nothing less than a fully realized game development kit masquerading as a game. One that has a mind-bending amount of depth, user-driven content, and potential sitting within it. Somewhat suitably, the key to unlocking that potential is you and your dreams. Now, there is something of a campaign mode in here too. It's called Art's Dream, and it's where you'll begin, otherwise it would all be a little bit bewildering and overwhelming. In this, you follow a musician named Art through a series of his dreams and memories, each one showcasing what can be achieved in the game development part of Dreams. Every bit of content you use was built in Dreams. It's almost a tech demo for the underlying creativity engine that sits at the heart of this product. Now, if you're familiar with Media Molecule, this shouldn't be a huge surprise. Their previous titles, the Little Big Planet series, were pioneers of console-level user-created content with the principle of play, create, and share. Dreams is the next evolution of that idea, unlocking additional features and functionality over and above what was capable in the Little Big Planet series. Instead of relying on pre-created environments, objects, and assets, everything can be created from scratch here. Now, when navigating the Dreamsverse, you can either dream surf or dream shape or craft. Surfing is where you'll go to experience other dreamers' creative outputs, and crafting is where you'll get to tap into your own potential. There are a huge amount of tutorials covering everything from camera controls and object placement all the way up to sculpting new objects, audio design, and art creation. Some of them are really full on and will require a couple of runs to get the concepts bedded in, but they are undeniably valuable in getting the most out of this title. Honestly, spend some time here if you want to be able to craft something truly original within the Dreamsverse. However, it is also worth noting that there is a huge amount of pre-made models, sounds, and everything that you would need to be able to make a very cool level or even an entire game for others to enjoy. So I, I guess the main point is, is not to be put off by thinking that it's too hard and requires too much to get invested in creating. They really do just want you to go out there and have a go at it. Now I think Dreams could be huge. Possibly the biggest, most ambitious title released on the PlayStation platform to date, which is saying a whole lot about it. Now of course, so much of that potential relies upon the community that invests into dreams and all that it is capable of becoming. Because this game will ultimately be a reflection of its community. And I don't think there are too many games that can boast that. Personally, I love this title. It's a great game and set of tools that my kids and I are able to explore together and it really does inspire them to play around in the creator tools. Unintentionally, I think Dreams, or maybe even intentionally, Dreams has fostered an idea of creativity in my children in video games that they did not previously have, and it's, it's brilliant to see that. So this one is an easy 9 out of 10 from me. Thank you so much for listening to this review. As always, we are here with video games, technology, cars, food. Hang around on the channel, check out more of our stuff. And if this is the last video that you're watching with us on the Empire today, then I have been Dave, and I will see you.